Proverbs. Proverbs. A proverb is a wise saying. A proverb is a wise saying. A rotten apple spoils the barrel. A rotten apple spoils the barrel. It means a dishonest person may influence other people. It means a dishonest person may influence other people. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It means different people have different tastes. It means different people have different tastes. Idioms Idioms An idiom is a saying or expression with a deeper meaning. An idiom is a saying or expression with a deeper meaning. Have a frog in the throat. Have a frog in the throat. It means unable to speak clearly until you cough slightly. It means unable to speak clearly until you cough slightly. As in, I have a bit of a frog in my throat. As in, I have a bit of a frog in my throat. To be set in stone. To be set in stone. It means the rules or laws are fixed. It means the rules or laws are fixed. As in, the rules are set in stone and cannot be altered. As in, the rules are set in stone and cannot be altered. Clichés. Clichés. A cliché is an overused expression. A cliché is an overused expression. As ye sow, so shall ye reap. As ye sow, so shall ye reap. It means the way you treat people is the way you will be treated. It means the way you treat people is the way you will be treated. He has ants in his pants. He has ants in his pants. It means unable to sit still. It means unable to sit still. Cockney rhyming slang. Cockney rhyming slang. Cockney rhyming slang. A word that rhymes with the intended word. Cockney rhyming slang. A word that rhymes with the intended word. Barnet. Barnet fair. Hair. Barnet. Barnet fair. Hair. As in, I just combed the old barnet. As in, I just combed the old barnet. Gold watch. Gold watch. Scotch whiskey. Gold watch. Gold watch. Scotch whiskey. What is a cockney? What is a cockney? You'll find the answer in issue one. You'll find the answer in issue one. Figures of speech. Figures of speech. A figure of speech is a literary device to enhance the quality of language. 
A figure of speech is a literary device to enhance the quality of language. Onomatopoeia, words imitating sounds made by objects. Onomatopoeia, words imitating sounds made by objects. As in the flutter of birds. As in the flutter of birds. English history. English history. George the First. George the First. He reigned from seventeen fourteen to seventeen twenty seven. He reigned from seventeen fourteen to seventeen twenty seven. George descended from James the Second. George descended from James the Second. George spoke German and only poor English. George spoke German and only poor English. Although he mostly lived in England once he was king. Although he mostly lived in England once he was king. George was a Protestant, which was important. George was a Protestant, which was important. George started a new dynasty of Hanover. George started a new dynasty of Hanover. There were Catholics with better claims to the throne. There were Catholics with better claims to the throne. One of these was James, the son of James the Second. One of these was James, the son of James the Second. In seventeen fifteen, a Jacobite rebellion in Scotland tried to install James as king, but failed. In seventeen fifteen, a Jacobite rebellion in Scotland tried to install James as king, but failed. The South Sea Company traded government stock for company shares. The South Sea Company traded government stock for company shares. The shares rose from one hundred pound to one thousand pound, and in seventeen nineteen the price peaked and crashed. The shares rose from one hundred pound to one thousand pound. And in seventeen nineteen the price peaked and crashed. This was called the South Sea Bubble. It ruined many people. This was called the South Sea Bubble. It ruined many people. During the reign of George the First, in seventeen nineteen, Daniel Defoe wrote Robinson Crusoe. During the reign of George the First, in seventeen nineteen, Daniel Defoe wrote Robinson Crusoe. In seventeen twenty six, Jonathan Swift wrote Gulliver's Travels. In seventeen twenty six, Jonathan Swift wrote Gulliver's Travels. George was born in sixteen sixty and died in seventeen twenty seven. George was born in 1660 and died in 1727. Find out in issue 17 who succeeded George the first. Find out in issue 17 who succeeded George the first.